Hey, hey, everybody. It's me, Casey, and I'm here recording some Let It Die. So, uh, last time when I did the stream, we got a little bit into the game, but we're still kind of learning quite a bit. And I played a bit of it this morning just because I really want to play it. It's actually pretty fun. And I wanted to explain some of the things that came up or that I unlocked since then. So we're gonna take a couple minutes here to do that, unfortunately, for those of you who just wanna jump in the action, sorry, but we're not gonna get to do that just yet. So, a couple of things that we've unlocked are the Tokyo, what is it, Tokyo Metro, Tokyo Death Metro. Basically what this is, <clears throat> it allows you to invade other people's bases and try to steal their money and their SP lithium. You also can steal some of their their players that they have, uh, the guys that you lock up in this freezer over here. So basically what it is is you, you get on the train and you go over to their base and it's pretty much exactly like this. And you have to either fight off their defenses if they've set any, and in the, in the meantime or while you're doing that, you need to try and break this machine. And then also this machine are gonna be set up in their in their lobby. Uh, if if you successfully knock out a person, which I don't know, it seems to be kind of random, you can drag them back to the train if you want to, or if you're able to, and what happens is they get locked up in here. So we've got someone from someone else's base, and what happens is they, they pretty much convert them or overwrite their memory or program, or program them or whatever you want to call it to kind of bring them over to your side. And while they're, while they're on the john, you actually get some SP lithium over time too. So yeah, 655, and it's one per minute. So I'm resetting him. It's gonna take apparently another 39 hours and five minutes. So it, it takes quite a long time and you can release him if you want to. Uh, you can also, if you're invading someone and they have someone sitting on the toilet, you can steal them away. So it's kind of got this interesting little base mechanic that reminds me of uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, which I didn't get too much into the base invasion thing in that one, but it sort of reminds me of that. Uh, another thing you can do, which I think I did at the very end of the stream, is you can set up your people in here and send them off to expeditions to basically invade other people's worlds to try and get you stuff. Let's so see, this guy went on an invasion. And he didn't bump into him, apparently, because otherwise it would say battle time, guard success, things like that. So I'm guessing this person, owner 344, that I sent them after, uh, didn't play. But we can still get stuff, that's fine. It seems like even if you lose, you still get stuff, so. Let's send this guy after someone else. I'm gonna go after... Sephirn, because his name's like Sephiroth, and that's stupid. I'm gonna send him off for... You can pick however many hours you want, so if you really want to try and hit someone, if you send him off for 24 hours, uh, they're gonna be pretty persistent, I believe, in trying to take your opponent down. But I'm just gonna go for one hour here. Just because it's pretty short and we'll, we'll have him back. So, and the people that you have set up in your freezer here can also be set to defend your base uh, through the metro. So I've got one guy set right now just to defend it in case anyone comes in here just so I don't have nobody because I went to a base one time and there was no one in there and I was able to just take some of the guy's money in the SP lithium. Although you don't, I don't think you steal all that much from them. You get more like as a reward from clearing it, but you do get to take some. So Anything that this guy makes and you buy and you equip onto one of your dudes in the freezer, the durability of it won't decrease. So if you've got some nice armor or nice weapons, you can build them for your for your freeze and freezers for your freezes and toss them on. And then all that time they're on the expedition or they're defending your base, the durability won't go down. Which is nice because if you grab some stuff that you found in the dungeon and you equip them with it, it may be uh, wearing out and you're not paying attention to it or something like that. Looks like our Uncle Prime boxes come for delivery, so let's open it. The revolver we got last time was amazing. Ooh, that's pretty good. The um, gold skull, or rainbow skull, so far the only use that I know off the top of my head, actually I know of two, I know of at least two uses. One is when you die, you can use it to continue, basically revive your character in that sort of free to play manner. Uh, the other one is you can convert them into money. I'm trying to remember where the NPC is that lets you do that. I think you go from the menu. Yeah, D8 service. 
So we can convert death metals to kill coins. We get uh, 5,000 kill coins per one death metal. You can expand your storage chest by 10 for two uh, death metals. Mm, I don't know if you can get express pass for death metal. I did receive a one day express pass gift for the login bonus today. I haven't used it yet just because I, I don't really feel like I need to. So but let's go into the dungeon. I got a little bit farther in. I'm still on the same character too. Right now I'm level 17. I'm getting pretty high up there. I'm getting a little bit worried that I might die because I kind of, I kind of feel like I want to bank this fighter in the freezer and hook her up with some gear to defend the base. If she dies that, you know, that might go to waste, but I can, I got some coins. So I can revive her. Yeah, I'm all the way up to the fourth floor now. There was a mini boss we fought, and I think after that was when you unlock the online invasion mode. There's also, um, I'm trying to think of what all there is. There's also some quests we unlocked that basically if you go back out to the lobby and you like log out of the game, <clears throat> you can talk to the receptionist in the arcade to look at different quests and things like that. Some of them are simple, like uh, kill 10 guys, kill 10 certain guys, or kill a hater, or things like that. Um, and then some of them are more difficult, like kill enemies only using, you know, kill 10 enemies in a row with a buzzsaw, or kill the third floor without ever dodging, or, you know, stuff like that. There's also been some pretty perilous rooms like this. I think there's a hater? Oof. There's a lot of people here. Hold on, I gotta kind of focus now. Oh, no, I don't want to be right there. That's a really bad place to be fighting. That narrow walkway. Kind of dangerous. Okay, so we made some room. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Oh. A big hammer. Oh no, ours missed. Go to sleep. Oh, that jerk with the firework launcher woke her up. Okay, okay that was a good hit. No, we dodged the hammer though. No, oh, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. Hold on. Hold on. No, we can't go in there. We can't go in there. I don't think I have any HP stuff either. Okay, we just gotta not be bad. Okay, you're dead. This guy's got me a little worried. Okay. That was not a good start to this floor at all. I don't really want the fireworks launcher. Iron hammer seems good. They're actually pretty good. We'll put it in the bag for now. Bag is kind of full, actually. Oh, we should probably go back. I didn't realize I had all these materials in there. I don't want to lose those. I wasn't really paying attention. We definitely don't want to lose the materials, but at the same time, I don't want to go back so soon. It seems like kind of a waste, you know? Especially when we have to spend gold to go back and forth. Oh. Oh. How did I miss? Okay, let's just get in. Get in close. Oh, wow. Almost didn't hit any of those. Not bad. Mushroom. I also, I've also cooked up a couple of things using the fire at the base, and so far it's only been beneficial. Everything has been beneficial that I've made. Those guys are really weak. They look spooky, but they're weak. Also, their green gas that they emit is not a poison, I've learned. I hear all kinds of stuff around me. It's got me a little bit worried. I don't think we're in a good way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Oh, well, you get to see me die. <laughs> His range is better. Welcome back. 
So what do you think about our insurance offer now? Hmm. 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 Fine. Your decision today will surely lead to a bright future for you. Now then, let's bring you back to life, shall we? Because we got all the wool and hemp and like an idiot, I kept going. Hey. It definitely, oh, definitely feels like a um, free-to-play or arcade-style game with that sort of mechanic. Like, put in another quarter. Okay. The death metals? I think that's what they're called. The death metals? That looks like a cool mushroom. Normally, you buy the death metal with... Oh, money. Sorry, guys, I got kind of distracted there. I try not to do that, because it's sort of a bad habit for... Doom Shroom, Deadly Poison. I wonder what happens if we cook it. Okay, let's go back. That stupid idiot for using a death metal. Can we throw away this firework launcher that has no ammunition in it? Why would we even want that? Trash it. You notice we've got a buttload of just random stuff, random mushrooms too. Okay. Back to the waiting room. 480 stupid gold. Just to put away the stuff that I forgot to put away when I started recording this video. I'm such a fool. A silly old fool. Yeah, the. I really like the game so far. It's pretty... It's got the... Sudogoichi feel to it. The combat... The combat's okay. It's not as satisfying as the Souls game, of course, because it's more arcadey. And... So far, it's a little bit more limited. Or in Dark Souls, you get... You have that really responsive... Mechanic to it. In this one, there's a lot of... Uh, like wait time in between attacks where you kind of are vulnerable and your, your character's recovering from your swing or whatever. Like in Dark Souls 1 when you would miss a swing with a one-handed axe and your character kind of stumbles, it feels like that. Especially for like if you fire a revolver and then you have to wait for a second. Oh, here's tomorrow's Uncle Prime. Gotta wait 20 hours. Before we can get that Uncle Prime. Also, they've got a radio that plays here in the station. It's got some pretty hardcore metal stuff. Or punk. So I grilled the crush room. Let's try grilling some of these other mushrooms, shall we? Oh. Cook it. So those don't cook, huh? Wait, no, let me let me pick them up. Real tough shroom. Mmm, tough shroom. No. No, you're not supposed to go there. No. I've made a terrible mistake. But do we got a booty? I already would do. With you as my witness. Viewer. No. No, you mushroom winch. Ow. Give us back our mushroom. She's not going to do it, is she? How's that feel? Give us our shrooms. We're never getting that back, are we? Okay, so when you throw the shroom, throw it from this angle. Throw it from this angle so it's not going to accidentally bounce in to the shop, and then you're you're out of shroom. I feel like an idiot. Oh, hey, we got some items delivered. Oh, this is the stuff that our character went on his attack. 
Yeah, there's a crush room. Uh, 1,472 gold. 19 SP lithium. And a frog. Where's our frog? You know what we're doing with the frog, right? I think you guys have an idea. He looks so happy. Look how happy the frog looks. Just chilling in her hand. But no! Not so happy anymore. Now is he? Get extra crunchy there, frog. You know frog? You guys know the frog I'm talking about? Bum, 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 bum. We could buy some armor since we lost all of ours for getting murdered. And then we'll buy pants because they give us 30 defense. You're welcome. Whereas the hat only gave us a little bit. Plus, we already had a hat apparently that we picked up. Was probably okay. Didn't we have a hammer we equipped? No. We do now. Now we've got a hammer equipped. Alright, back up we go. Do we have experience we need to use? Oh, we can max out our stamina? I want to know how you get higher than that, though. I feel like that is a pretty low amount. You know what I mean? So if you look at how high up the stamina bar is and how low the HP bar is, there's got to be more HP that you can get. But maybe we have to unlock it in some way or progress farther and then it unlocks stronger characters. This time I'm going to try not to get us murdered. We have at least one healing item, and hopefully we don't just get hammered to death. <laughs> We're wearing a traffic cone as our helmet, so I don't know if we're in all that good way anyway. We're in a bad way, man. I and I be chilling with the real boy, man. Alright, hey, we're back. This time. The layout change? No, no. Did it? It might change. This area. So this is where we got murdered before. Ah, oh, crap. Not a good start. I thought we could make that jump, for sure. I really thought we did. So we could. What happens if we just run away through? Are we gonna get... Oh, 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 oh. Woo. Hey, 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 anyone? Hey, no, 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 Get out of the way. Okay, he's moved, he's moved, he's moved. Jeez. I've made a terrible mistake. Go back downstairs, go back downstairs, go back downstairs. Okay. Whew. Apparently we were supposed to go the opposite direction. I've been up to the fifth floor, it seems. But there's no elevator up there. At least if there was, I didn't get it. I don't need to see that. I don't need to see that. That was a horrible mistake. Nobody needs to see that. Hey, this is where I fought the big dude. Oh, hey. There's just items down here? Or item? Is item down here? Money? Ooh, a blueprint for a coat. Did I already have that one? I must already have that one, and I just didn't have the research material. Hold on, dogs. Go out of here. Okay, up we go. I guess I could have waited for the loading screen while stepping away for a second, but... Okay, so we just need to not rush. I don't know why I thought rushing was going to work. I started panicking. I panicked, and I just wanted to get out of there. But here we go. For real, this time we got it. We're going to be taking it easy. 
Easy. Eating the frog, eh? I gotta say that the uh, decor here does not make me feel at ease. Oh, hey! Gotcha! How about we punch him to death? Ooh. Oh, no! I missed the chance to do the triangle attack. I really wanted to do that, too. I haven't done one of those in a while. I wanted to see what it looks like with the hammer. But the hammer is good. Ooh! Ooh! Oh wait, where'd she go? Oh, up there. Which, coming down here is kind of a bad idea, but hey, there you are. Have you ever punched someone so hard that all their clothes blow up? I have. Yeah, I knew you'd be here. Hunting tubers, that's what, that's one of the quests that I got. We have to kill ten tubers. I guess those guys are tubers. Because their heads are tubes? Are they plants? This room, this is the bad room. Oh! Yes! Gosh. Special attack! Right to the grill, mofo! Right to the grill, Marfar! Oh no! Oh boy! Oh boy! That's a lot! Can we safely eat this in time, or is it too slow? It's kind of a bad little area to be stuck in, isn't it? Get the upper ground. My turn? Okay, there's one down. Now Hammer Brother. Come on up. There you go. Whew. It's tough when there's so many enemies that just bum rush you. Like, what are you supposed to do? Gotcha. Oh, crap. I did the hand one. There's a lot of fireworks launchers. I really don't like the fireworks launcher, though. That's why I'm not picking it up. It's really weak. It's just way too weak. Combat pickaxe. This sounds cool. It seemed really strong. It's a big weapon. It did a lot of damage to us, so I'm assuming it's going to do a lot of damage to the enemy, right? That just makes sense. There might be items up here, but I don't think I saw any. Yeah. Nothing for us. Alright, so there's the elevator. Elevator. These guys. These guys. Uh, these guys are weak to fire. I believe. Which would be good if we had the iron, but I don't think we do. Oh. I'm blocked. Oh! I didn't want him to hit right there. That was the worst place for us to get hit. Can you come over? There you go. Come on. Get yourself stuck in the ground. Oh, you can't block it. You can't really block it. This is looking bad. This is looking worse and worse by the minute. Oh, no! Come on, hit him! Hit him! That didn't kill him? Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Too much for our lock-on, huh? Oh! Let me in, 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 let me in. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh, that was really close. 
Hmm. That's a little bit of a breath of relief there. I'm just switching the display because it always gets really laggy on that other one. I don't know if it makes loading any faster or slower by switching it, but I guess just by hopes of it of the PS4 doing less calculations when it shows you the map that it's faster. Yeah, take my money. Just take my money. Okay. Skip that. Get healed. Uh, well, for one last thing before you end this video, why don't we try invading someone else's base and see how it goes. So we've got our pickaxe. We've got a stupid... Uh, firework launcher. I've got the Magnum still. It's in the storage right now just because it's really good and I didn't want to waste it anymore. Let's, we want to raid someone. Find a low rank dude. Level 2 is probably the lowest we'll find. I want to invade Museum of Skin 666 from West Virginia, huh? Let's go. And I guess if you have the pass, whatever it is, the DH Express, whatever they call it, you can ride on a better train and it doesn't cost you anything or there's no limits to it or something like that, but I'm not really too worried about it, especially because I don't really understand all the mechanics just yet. Oh, he's got defenses. Apparently his character is not happy at me for invading. Bad news for him though, he's got uh, no armor. No armor, no weapon. That's cool though, so if you put someone to defend on your platform, then they can't get into your base until those defenders are defeated. That's good to know. I didn't know that, they didn't tell me that. He doesn't have anyone in here. So we're just free to take his stuff, basically. Doesn't have anyone there. Perfect. So here's what we get to do. We get to punch the crap out of this machine with our bare fists. And take all this stuff. You think it kind of hurt your hand after a while, but... Look at that. So much SP Lithium. Here's where we get our money. I feel like we need to set up some more defense. After this video, I think I'm going to recruit a couple more people and toss them on defense. Just because I know how difficult it is to fight multiple people at once. So what I'm going to do is set up my, my lobby. Not this area, but like the train station area with like three or four dudes. And just see if they can't swamp any defenders, just in case someone attacks, you know. Yeah, look at me looking all cool. We took everything, 100%. Here's what we get. So we plundered 1,613 gold, 320 SP Lithium, and then as a bonus, we get 800 gold and 800 SP Lithium, which is quite a bit, I feel like. compared to how much you get from killing a hater out in the dungeon, which they give us, like, what, five? Ten? Three? A little bit of a load here, getting back to our base, huh? Okay, we gotta watch Uncle Death jamming. Whoop! <laughs> The loading lag. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thankfully for us, he only had one person to defend, so he didn't get into too much trouble, but... That's all. Thanks for stopping by, everyone.
You guys have a good one, and we'll see you all next time.